Right, folks, we're back for another one of these shorter red zone videos with Global receiving Easy A Tech VB and Easy A STR Rose Goku Black. Before we just take a look at this guy at max links 100% through the lens of the private server up against Red Zone Bro. If you want me to take him into any other stage, then drop it down in the comments below. But I thought we'd just take a look at him in Red Zone Broly to see if we can potentially A, can he himself survive a super attack from Red Zone Broly? And B, can Broly survive from Tech Vegito Blue? Because don't get it mistaken, Tech Vegito Blue is still the king of damage. Now, I'll be honest, I have kind of, I have about 30 or 40 minutes of footage. I've kind of condensed it down into five minutes. So I don't actually remember how many super attacks or how many attacks he's performed throughout the duration of all of these runs. But bare minimum, what you're seeing from him, he would have performed at about 10 attacks and he would have probably performed about five to six super attacks. What I found is the average is the amount of attacks that I've performed, he would have probably performed half of the half of those attacks would have been super attacks. Right? That's probably the best way I can describe that. Um, so I don't know. I think he's very good. I think the biggest downside to him is just his link set, right? Like Warrior, not Warrior God, sorry. Over in a flash is not as common as you think it would be. And he also has this really like interesting ability where he gives himself key and a medium chance of performing a crit within the same turn after receiving an attack. But what I've often found is that it doesn't really come to be a handy ability because he's not a tech god Goku. He's not a Vegito and Trunks. He's not a carnival Goku who can just sit in slot one and get that buff. Uh, this is a, a bit of a good example here. We are we're able to proc a Vegito and Trunks' active skill. So everyone on this turn is getting the extra 50%. Sorry, not 50%. <laughs> it was 50%. Vegito and Trunks will be the best unit by far in the game. But an extra 20% defensive buff. Remember as well, take Vegito Blue. Just very quickly, he stacks attack and defense. He gets 50% defense on super. He also gets 20% attack of each attack performed up to 200%. Uh, and that's pretty much the basis of his kit. Here, I, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I think we've performed around 12 attacks with seven of them being super attacks. So bear that in mind. And yeah, like damage is amazing, right? You, I, you can definitely tell with that medium chance of crit being active, the damage can really look good. And I think if you can get a, a Dokkan mode up against the AGL Red Zone Brawler, it would be cooking. He took 500k, which is quite a lot. And in fact, we do end up dying here. Don't, I wouldn't pay too much attention to, to Vegito and Trunks here. We didn't actually get any stacks of them at all. And they didn't even take any hits. So I suppose considering that, that's not too bad, right? I think maybe they took one or two hits, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. Uh, also very quickly as well, with Tech God Goku, Vegito Blue shares four links, Super Saiyan, Warrior Guards, Over in a Flash, Fierce Battle. That's 57% attack and then three key. No defense, unfortunately, but it is what it is. This is yet another example. We'll get to see actually Vegito Blue's tanking gear abilities. And for the most part, I think Vegito Blue, from what I've, you know, what I've been testing him at, he seems to be around the 300k mark, maybe around 350 when we approach this phase. If you slap on an extra 50% defense, that pop, pop, I said that pops, that pops him up to like 525k defense, right? Which is pretty strong, I think. And this is why he tanks this for 336, which I think is fine, considering how much damage he was actually able to to output on this rotation. Another thing to keep in mind with that particular rotation was that Super Saiyan 3 Bardock was on there and that's why his attacks that fluctuated dramatically, right? Remember, SS3 Bardock gives 50% attack support to all superclass allies. And for a unit like Vegito Blue, who's constantly stacking, who's constantly um, getting more percentages with each attack he performs, i.e. he's a multiplicative type of unit. Multiplicative, that makes no sense, but <laughs> he's a unit who gets multiplicative buffs. It, it definitely skyrockets his offensive potential but for the most part he's operating around the six to five to seven mil mark and if he's doing that multiple times a turn then you're talking about a unit who's around 15 16 17 million attack every single term we're around 300 400k deep and so let me know guys think of take vegeta blue i hope it did an okay job of explaining i feel like i didn't but i mean it is what it is if you want me to again take vegeta bloom to any other event then let me know in the comments below i think i'll do rose tomorrow and i'll try and get 55 percent videos out as well for these two units and i'll catch you in the next one